What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with the iDownload blog. We are going to talk about Spring Tomize 3. Yes, indeed. The tweak that you've all been waiting for is finally here. It is Spring Tomize 3. This is the version of Spring Tomize designed specifically for iOS 7, and it works just as you would expect. It is designed by Filippo Bigarella with graphics by Surenix, a whole bunch of beta testers and translators on board. So you can tell that Filippo put a lot of work, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this tweak and I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to step through every section. Now you can also find the settings for Spring Tomize within the stock settings app. So if you prefer to access it that way, if you hide the Spring Tomize icon on your springboard, you can access it via here, all the settings. But as you see, there's also a Spring Tomize app icon placed on your springboard upon installation. When you enable the tweak, you'll get this little button or this little section up here in your status bar for a respringing. You can tap that to apply and then you'll see this little respring pop up and you can respring directly from spring to Mize or dismiss the respring message like that. Now, once you do enable the tweak, you see, oh, yeah, a ton of different sections that you can customize using spring to Mize 3. So you have animations, app slider, control center, dock, folders, icons, lock screen, pages, status bar, etc. And there's just a ton of different stuff to customize. So let's start off with animations. How about that? You can actually customize the speed of your, your animations in iOS. You can speed them up by uh, reducing this little slider here or make them slower by increasing the slider. So we're going to speed things up a little bit here to start off with. Let's enable the custom speed toggle and we can tap the status bar and respring like this. And once we come back up, you will see how much faster the animations are in iOS, just like that. You see how much faster that is? Now watch what happens when I open an app. Bam, just like that. So you can see that animations are just fast across the board in iOS when opening up the app switcher, when launching apps and things like that. If you don't like the animations in iOS 7 or you just don't like how slow they are, don't worry. You can turn those you can speed them up just using Spring Tomize 3. So uh, you see how fast the app switcher opened up there. And speaking of the app switcher, we're going to talk about that right now. It's actually dubbed the app slider in Spring Tomize, which is probably a more apt term for it. Um, so you can hide the icons in the app slider. You can resize these the pages that appear there. So we're going to make it 50%. How about that? And um, you can also assign an action to the home uh, the home page basically. So if you slide up on the home page in the app slider, you can actually respring this little home page right here. If you slide up on there, you can respring. We won't enable that right now, but we will have the hide icons enabled and we will also have the uh, page is set to 50%. So you're gonna notice they should be quite a bit smaller when we open up our app slider or app switcher. You will see a definite change. So let's go ahead and fire it up here. Double tap our home button. You see how much smaller it is. You see the app icons are now gone. Uh, so that is the 50% app slider with no app icons below it. Um, so that is it, folks. That's the app slider. Let's go back. Let's uh, go to control center now. Let's change the way the control center looks here. You have the hide separators toggle. So these little separators right here, you can hide those. You can also hide different sections of control center. So we're gonna choose a couple of sections to get rid of. How about the uh, mobile or the media controls and the brightness? Let's just get rid of those two. So media controls and brightness, we'll get rid of those and we'll get rid of the separators. We'll respring and you should see what it looks like here in just a second. So uh, the respring is done. All right. And let's slide up to get to control center. And you see the difference there. No separators to be found. And of course, the media controls and brightness little slider is gone as well. So that is the control center section of Spring Tomize 3. Let's go ahead and change some other stuff up here. Let's change up our dock. All right, so you can hide the dock. You can hide the background. Um, you can perform resizes and things like that. If you want to resize the uh, dock, the icons in the dock, that is. You can hide the labels in the dock, the app icons. You can also choose how many icons you want to be displayed within the dock. So we won't respring right now. Yeah, cover flow options if you want to have a little cover flow effect within the dock as well. Uh, so you can see quite a few settings here. We've, we've changed up, hide background, resize. We won't do that, hide labels. Um, so let's go ahead and respring. Let me show you what the dock looks like now. It should be a pretty big difference, especially since we hide uh, the background which allows us to see our wallpaper uh, in the background of the dock easier. Uh, just you can just just more visible the wallpaper that is. So if you're a big fan of your wallpaper, this may be an option you want to enable to hide the background of the dock. Of course, you can put multiple icons down there as well. We hit the labels. 
etc. So just a lot to change up with the dock. So let's go ahead and put these all back to default settings here. I think we almost have them all. Let's get that icon back to four. And I think we're good for the dock. So now let's go to folders. Yes, indeed. It just doesn't stop, folks. You see how many options here in the folders. You have nested folders. You can put folders within folders. You have pinch to close. And there are other tweaks actually on Cydia that do these things separately, but Spring Tomize combines them all into one. Um, so we have a fast open and close. That allows you to have really fast animations. You don't have any animations, basically. It just opens up immediately when you tap the folder. Uh, you have high labels and other options here for cover flow, et cetera. Uh, so we'll just change those up here. Let's go ahead and respring. And let me show you what these look like after respringing. So we're going to have to create a, a folder here on our first page of our home screen. So let's go ahead and drag the passcode or the passbook application. And you saw how it just opened up there. That is because we basically disabled the animations for the folders to make them open up immediately, uh, speeding up the uh, folder opening in iOS. And of course, there's nested folders. You can put folders within folders as we just did there. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? <laughs> and we can also pinch to close. I think we enable pinch to close as well. So you can just do like this to close with a pinch. Normally you cannot do that. Uh, so those are some of the, the changes that you can make with folders um, in iOS with Spring Tomize 3. So let's go ahead and just get rid of this folder first of all. And we're just going to dissolve this folder, get rid of the uh, passbook application. And let's move the App Store back to its normal spot. All right, folks, so that's folders. Let's look at some more goodies here. The next thing up for bit is the icons. First of all, though, let's go ahead and change out all our folders back to normal. I just like to keep things tidy, neat and tidy. All right, so here's our icons. And you see, <laughs> no surprise here, lots of options. Hide updated, lock layout, disable wiggling, disable uninstall. You can hide badges if you want to do that. You can have an icon image effect to add special effects to your app icons, the look of all the app icons. And this is just ridiculously crazy. We're going to choose psycho colors and it definitely lives up to its name as you'll see here in a minute. Uh, there's also badge colors. You can customize badges. So we'll turn off hide badges and turn on the background color for badges so we can make our badges green. How about that? That'll look cool. Let's keep the text to normal white. And you can, of course, hide icons. You can hide newsstand, hide spring to And of course, you can hide individual icons that you have installed for all the apps. So let's go ahead and hide the App Store so I can just show you guys that the App Store application will not be displayed once we respring with these settings here set. So those are all the icon settings. Let's respring. And we're going to check things out, see how they look after we come back up here, which is going to be crazy with these psycho icons. You see that? The psychedelic colors. Look at the badges. You have the green badges with the white text. It's pretty nuts here. As you can see, lots of craziness going on there. I'm obviously not a huge fan of the psycho colors. It's a little too much for me, but um, yeah. Oh, let me show you the lock layout. I, I didn't show you that. Let's go back before we respring. You see no wiggle mode. You can't, well, obviously you can't uninstall App Store or iTunes or anything like that, but um, uh, there's no wiggle mode to speak of. Let's swipe over and try to hit the little upper left-hand corner where the uh, delete button usually is. No delete button, you can't uninstall or any of that. So you saw all the settings for the icons. Uh, you can really customize this to a very deep degree as you saw there. Now let's change the lock screen, the look and feel of the lock screen. Let's hide the camera, the camera grabber. We can change up the slider style to make the slider hidden. You can also change up the time and the date. So you can change the font for the time. You can add seconds to your time if you want to do that. So display seconds if you want. And of course, date, you can change up the date style, add custom text if you want to do that. So not a lot there for lock screen, but enough to keep you keep you happy and satisfied. So let's go ahead and respring again. And there you go. You see the seconds, it's really big. So I probably should have reduced the size of that a little bit, the size of the font, but Nonetheless, you can see it. You can make it out what it is. And no slider text or anything like that. No camera grabber. And it doesn't just hide the camera grabber, but it actually removes the functionality of the camera grabber. So you can't actually grab anything now. It'll open Control Center when you do that. So let's go back to our home screen and load up Spring Tomize again. And let's set all these settings back to how they were on the lock screen. Oops. Let's see. There's Icon. I want to turn that off. I forgot to turn off my um, Psycho Colors. Let's make sure we do that. Get rid of those. All right, so let's go back and 
change up everything for the lock screen back to how it was before we altered it. And now let's check out the pages. Now these these actually impact the app icons and the, uh, the just everything on the pages, the, the actual springboard UI, et cetera. So we can change up the size of the icons on all our pages. We can hide the labels for the app icons on the pages. You can have a customized amount of columns, a customized amount of rows if you want. You can add cover flow options and stuff like that. Let's change up the rows. Let's, let's give us, I don't know, six rows. How about that? Let's really do some crazy right now. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna do that in uh, cover flow. Why not? Let's just go ahead and enable cover flow. We haven't done it since, so let's let's do it now. All right, so now we're going to respring, and you should see these pages are going to just be crazy. Thankfully, though, the cycle colors will go away, so we won't have that to continue with. But we do have quite a bit of other changes that you're going to see here. Not only are the icons smaller, you have the cover flow effect, the, uh, the app icon text is hidden, uh, and, of course, you have the multiple, uh, multiple rows there. So you have quite a few things you can customize right here on your Springboard page. No page dots, as you see. Just lots of stuff. So let's add some additional app icons here. And you can just see how they just squeeze all in there. And you can add a ton of icons to one page if that's your style. It's not my style personally, but uh, if that's your style, if that's the way you roll, then feel free to use Spring to Mize 3 to just shovel as many app icons into one page as you possibly can. Um, you can do that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and disable all the pages. The page options, obviously, not pages, but all the options for the pages. Let's disable the, uh, we didn't set columns. We did set rows though. So let's make that default and turn off cover flow. And I think that is it, ladies and gentlemen. So one more section to, to, to show you here. Uh, this is the status bar and you can customize lots of things in status bar. Mainly what you're gonna find here is custom carriers, custom time. I'm gonna set Jeff as a custom carrier name. And then you can just go down here and disable all the items. And these little toggles, when you enable these toggles, these actually disable the items uh, that you toggle. So things like Bluetooth signal, the uh, carrier location, the uh, Nike Plus, if you have that enabled and that's showing up in your status bar, you can disable that, your time, of course. Um, and I did actually wanna keep carrier enabled because yeah, I did have my custom carrier there. So we wanna show that. But you can see you can disable pretty much everything on your status bar and make it just blank in, oh no, my carrier didn't show up. Uh, need to go back to settings probably for spring to mize and um, make sure it didn't delete my carrier name, a custom name that is. So let's go back to status bar and it did. Okay, so that was probably because I had toggled carrier off below. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, and we'll go ahead and respring. And now we should see my name in the status bar, just like that. So you see it right there, Jeff is in the status bar. That is all you see, because that's the only thing we have enabled for the status bar in Spring to Mize 3. So as you can see here, folks, this is just a ridiculous amount of customization. If you turn off the uh, toggle, the kill switch, the main kill switch, you can disable all of your uh, Spring to Mize 3 settings in one fell swoop. You don't have to go in there and meticul meticulously disable certain features like I did. I'm just a little obsessive that way, and I like to keep things nice and tidy and neat and clean. Uh, but you can easily disable all those uh, attributes using the kill switch for Spring to Mize. Now, I know a lot of you people over there are probably thinking, Jeff, just get to the point. How much do we have to pay to get Spring to Mize 3? Well, it's free if you bought Spring to Mize 2 in the last two months. It's $1.99 if you bought Spring to Mize 2 at all, uh, but you purchased it earlier than two months ago. And it's $2.99 for anyone who's just now coming on board to Spring to Mize 3. Folks, this is... By far, like for real, this is the best way to customize your device overall in just a variety of different areas. It allows you to customize virtually every aspect of your iOS device, and it basically combines dozens of tweaks into one package. Spring to Mize 3 is not a groundbreaking tweak by any means or any stretch of the imagination. It's been done before, trust me, but this is still the best way to customize your device in a variety of ways. Some of you may be annoyed that you have to continuously respring to apply the different changes because a lot of tweaks no longer require you to do that. Uh, but this is the best way, the best implementation that Filippo could go about doing so. And I'm sure he wouldn't have done that if it wasn't a necessity. Like I said, folks, Spring to Mize 3 is by far the best way to customize your device in a variety of ways. Uh, it's great for the lock screen, great for the springboard, great for the app switcher, uh, does so many different things. And I'm serious when I say it's like a dozen or more tweaks in one, probably more than that. 
way more than that actually. So let me know what you guys think about Spring to My Street in the comment section below. It's available right now on Cydia's Big Boss Repo. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.